Hello and welcome to another video. So today I thought I would discuss my personal strategy on how to actually get light and shadow units on a budget. Um, light and shadow units seem to be, you know, it's quite expensive typically to get them. Uh, generally it's viewed at about $100 is what it costs to just get a copy of an LS if you really, really want one quickly. So it's not cheap. Uh, however, I will say after playing six months, LS sort of opened up for me. A few months in and here's why when I first started the, the game basically my aim was to complete and attempt to get uh, all the good right and I would say tier 1 and tier 2 uh, forest legion undead heroes so obviously Terrence being the first one I got to 11 uh, after Patras but he was just for wishlist but anyway so uh, Margaret Diana Lionel Flora Eric Liv Osh I mean, Grigor was just someone I, I wanted, uh, and I do like him now. Uh, Tell, uh, Cardlin, and then Barley sort of came in after, and, and Darby will be next. But these were basically after the point. These are more for expanding my blessing capacity. But when it comes to LS units, I got myself my Yulv, Felix, and Ram now. So I have three light or shadow units completed and out of ten. And that is something that I think is the uh, and I think that was the best way of doing it, basically. So, when you first begin the game, you're going to get light and shadow copies. You're going to get food as you just progress through the game. You're going to get it through summons. You're going to get it through fragments. You're going to get it from all over the place, right? And slowly, you will accumulate that food. And food being a very expensive part of the game, um, it's just going to stack, right? As you're working on the other units, it's going to stack. When you reach about three months in, you're going to realize that now you are starting to get enough food and hopefully enough random copies to actually make an LS based on what is given to you. And none of the LS units are bad units and therefore whatever you get, it works. So I'll say is that the first thing to know is that when it comes to just getting copies after straight up, the most consistent way at the moment is the portal of prey. Um, unless you're talking about something like the Gisela event, but I'll, I'll talk to, about that in a bit, in a moment. But um, basically, the Prey Portal, every about 25,000 gems, you get a copy. Uh, so the main thing I wanted to say is that um, if you wait until you get one to two copies of a unit for LS before you commit to leveling them up, uh, most accounts should have the food by this point to power them up to 10 star or at least be quite close three months in uh, or you know be close enough where you can push for food from shops from events and whatever to to reach that stage right so um, you, you are looking to see what copies you get so my first ever uh, unit for shadow uh, was my Yulv currently nothing else is in the works however I had one copy of Yulv uh, from the uh, the event on the last time before they reset and it was no longer possible but I got one copy of him and that was fine I was happy with that and if I could go back now in time I would probably go for Sinclair to be honest I'll be honest but generally I had one copy of him and then I got one more copy of him through I think fragments right so that hit my two copy requirement personally this is my version of doing a less without breaking the bank basically and it also it'll work for free to play as well I believe or at least low spender uh, I'm not gonna say you know how lucky you'll be and how perfectly this will work for you but it works for me so when you get one to two copies then you can start thinking of that unit as possible to power up right and if you hopefully get lucky on getting some of the units that fit into what you require but any of them will do fine for you suve is a great priest olivia is a great priest if you get yourself gar or ram they're both great units if you get yourself felix or celia both great units the only ones i wouldn't be too happy about is yasuko and katarina because they're just it's tanks and we have such great three tanks uh, at the top of the tier lists that it's not really the best thing to go for those units so i will leave leave them out basically but otherwise if you get all the others you're good so i'll say is you use portal of prey and one of the ways to do this as a low spender so this is not involving free to play as a low spender you can get the monthly pack right and they are these two monthly packs for 20 pounds dollars whatever per month which is not cheap i'm not going to say this is cheap but on a budget is better than just blowing seeds or trying to get crazy amounts through, you know, packs here and stuff. So you get these two potentially. I've been avoiding this. I uh, 
uh, for a while now, very, very long time. But if you get this, for example, and you go ahead and put all of those gems into the Portal of Prey, you're very likely once per month to get one unit. So if you start with requiring two more or three more, then you get those gems and you get one more copy, right? Which already gets you close, especially if you started with two, which is recommended when you get two units that copies, then you can sort of on a low budget through just RNG reach it because you do drop these units. Majority of my Olivia's, I think actually all of my Olivia's aside from one is from the, so the two of them are from just random drops. Two Felixes were from random drops. One Ram, I think, or two Rams were from random drops. That's the way I'm working with it, right? And you have one of them was from the event, and then I just sort of thought, you know what, finally time to do a, a shadow unit for once. But I'm saying that's probably the way to, to do it on a budget, is using things like that, as well as waiting for events. So the recent event that just passed, the Thanksgiving, that gave you a good shot, free to play, to actually get yourself one Olivia. But if you were not free to play and bought the pass and played smartly and used the guide that I talked about in the video as well as some stuff I posted on the Discord uh, for the help of some people, is you would have found it that it's actually much easier to maximize using that food. And a lot of people who bought, for example, just the pass reached the end or 30 and got themselves a free Olivia. So if you play smart with it, if these events come in the future, you're much more likely to get those units. So keep that in mind wait for events take things slow because you're gonna use need food anyway like there's no there's no rush um, what I'm gonna say right is as well go to 10 star as you may have guessed when I was talking about getting two copies and needing two more I'm talking about 10 star units all of my LS are 10 star the Ram Felix Yulf they're all 10 star and they're all doing fine I will say that Terence 11 and, and Ram 10 are comparable to one another they both tank a lot they both do a lot of damage um i don't know i'm not going to test it here but let me just nope not summons i'll say here if i just throw throw both in both back here i'll take off i'll put margaret's thing on her let's just send them out right they're gonna do comparable dam comparable damage depends obviously on who gets targeted and stuff but they both do well so if you wait for 10 star your units are going to do well I mean, Ram has better runes and stuff, but he's down a star. So he ults. Hopefully he gets to ult too. Nope, never mind. Um, but yeah, he does a good job. Uh, at 10 stars, you can see, like, he does fine. You don't need to rush into getting, um, you know, the best, best 11 star and just having one unit left. You might as well go for multiple 10s. Uh, get something else to, to do the blessing for you. Um, but basically, they're both going to they're gonna be usable. Right, they're going to be usable as you see here with Felix and Ram. They're both more than usable at 10 star and be and save your money and just don't get four more copies, just stick with that. Um, and food, obviously, being the, the main thing as well, food is expensive. You need seeds, you need to pick them up from all the stores, sacrifice other things, sacrifice getting other units up for food for light and shadow. So it's usually double price in everywhere you look. So, what I will say is concentrate on just 10 star and you should be fine. And with time, with time, you can look for 11 just by getting random copies. So in the situation here of my Yulv, he got to 10 star. Since then, I have enough food to power him up to 11. I also have one copy of him that I randomly received, right? If I get one away from 11, then I'll probably go ahead and just look for one last copy with Prey Portal. But I'm going to do it slowly. Take your time. It's not a problem. So the other thing to remember is your medals. What I will say is... For see how you're doing with what you're getting, and if there's other ways to do it, like wish list, save your medals, right? So I have 144. I am just chilling on these because there's nothing I need at the moment. I don't have the food and do this as well. I don't have the food for Olivia 10. There's no point for me getting Olivia one more set of Olivia's. There's no point. I need the food, so the food will come slowly, and it comes really slowly. It's been two days since Ram hit, and all I have is this. So since things come so slow, relax. Save your save your um medals if you can get a unit through just seeding just do that don't waste your medals save it up if you're going to go for ls this is the way to do it so um essentially i'm just going to let this go whenever i need the units i'll do it because right now if i can get one gar then i can consider getting another one through my medals and now i am going to be even closer to getting a gar up which is which is the way to do it in my opinion is take it take it take it take it slow right like i said so i'll just run it through it quickly 
prey portals will be one every 25,000. You can get that through either the dailies, um, the daily login ones, the passes, or you can relax and just save your gems. Don't spend it on random crap. Um, don't buy books. Chill out. You should be able to do your wish list without buying any extra books. Aim for 10 stars, at least initially for, for a good few months. Aim at 10 stars. They need less food. They have comparable damage to 11, none or less. And just do it slow. And slowly you may get them to 11 with time. And with medals and the 20 pounds per month spending, you're going to be, you know, not breaking the bank per year, but you'll get a lot of 10 star light and shadow units. Anyway, I'll leave it there. Hopefully that wasn't too long. I kind of lost track, but I wanted to sort of share how I'm approaching LS units because I feel like I'm not in the position to get all of them up. I am just not in the position. So whatever it is, this is the way I'm doing it. They're working fine for me. They help me push levels. So try try for 10 stars. Don't go for 11s. If you're a low spender, this is probably the way. Take it slow. Break portal, seeds. Wait for lucky copies. Get two and then carry on from there. All right. Take care. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.